All right, Bruce, are you ready to take this on another time? Starting here at Central Yarnum. And I say, is that, a, is, that, is, that, is that appropriate? What is that? What, what are you referencing yeah. there? Take on me. Which part of take on me is that? Nah, 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 nah. It says take me on, and then it's like, and I say, and it says, that's, that's the part, you know. And I say, the little scribble man, and he's in like, a day or two. You mean that part? No, it's not in a day or two. I, I don't. I don't think you've heard the song that I'm talking about. Which, where are you, what are you? Which? <laughs> yeah, that one. Oh man, dude, they need to do that in Gremlins Three. Not a day to remind me. Right there, way. I gotta say you're doing much better this time, Bruce. It's yeah, I, I don't I don't know what happened. I think it might be the uh, I've been taking Bronchade. Oh, maybe that's helpful. Maybe, maybe that's the thing that's really helping you out. You got the Bronchade? Yeah, I can breathe better. It does help with that. I, I've read on the internet. Anyways, which song were you referring to? Uh, uh, by. By the, by the real big fish. No, it's real big fish. I'm pretty sure they did it first. I don't think, um, I don't think that band was around in the 80s when uh, that song became popular. No, no, they, um, have you seen the movie Back to the Future? I have. Yes, uh, uh, featuring Marty McFly. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a little known fact that Back to the Future is based on factual events. Oh. But, uh, they, uh, they used a DeLorean because it was like kind of a splash move. It was actually like a tour band that Doc Brown had converted and the real big, the real Doc Brown the real Doc Brown okay and um, so he would pick up ska bands from the 90s and then take them back to the 80s and they would write new wave hits that's interesting I, I, I was unaware of that fact yeah that's uh, that's 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 how that happens oh man I'm fucking just killing it right you now. are doing a really good job I'm, I gotta say I'm impressed. I, I don't know why, but the urge to like have my character scratch her ass is just kind of dissipated a little bit. Yeah, that's the strange you're not doing that anymore. Oh, wow, look at all those blood vials. Also, I don't know if you noticed a moment ago it said that your weapon was at risk, meaning uh, it needs to be repaired. Oh, you have to do that in this game? Apparently, yes. I, I've, I've never actually done it myself, uh, but you might want to return to the Hunter's Dream to get that done. Oh, and also take out that guy who has your blood echoes. Well, I do that. How do you, how do you, um, when do, when do, when can we, uh, maybe, uh, when's a good time to repair the, uh, oh, wow, it's not doing nearly as much damage. Yeah, I'm afraid it's in disrepair. You might as well just, uh, let's just, uh, kill ourselves. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea, well, with all these blood echoes we have, and by we, I mean you. No, oh, I mean, uh, it's, it's... It doesn't matter, I'm, I'm losing blood echoes in record numbers right now. It's, it's uh, quite unbelievable. That is true, you have been having a tough time, I think. But you're doing pretty well, I mean, look at the you taking out that dog. I'm pretty sure that I'm um, finally getting used to using my toes. Um, like, uh, an analog controller is, it's, it's, it's not the same as, like, beating Mario with a D-pad with your feet. So when you're playing the game, what's going through your, your mind as, as you fiddle with the controls with your toes? Uh, I'm really just trying to pretend that I have thumbs again. Oh, yeah, I can see how that might help. I have, uh, Phantom Limbs. Oh, oh, you were doing so well, and then, uh, I fucking lost all those blood yeah. echoes. Yeah, that's, that is a problem. I'm a garbage person. Well, I have an idea. When you respawn at the lamp, why don't you go straight back to the Hunter's Dream and repair, and your repair weapon. the weapon? Exactly. Yeah, um, you know, it, it, it's been such a long because, like, I am the speedrun champion, and so I I didn't really bother repairing my my weapon. I was just like, I'm just gonna go through this. That's right. You must have beaten the game so quickly that you never even had to do it. Yeah, no, the uh, the processor actually did not have time to actually receive the instructions telling it, it must not have known. Yeah, it's just fucking I. I warped the space-time continuum a little bit whenever I'm on, on top of my game. You hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Bruce Minton has warped the space-time continuum uh, by playing Bloodborne. Well, I mean, I, I, I really would like to use my uh, nom de plume for this. It's uh, 
Hank's Brutes. Hank's Brutes. Yeah, that's 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 uh, that's my title name. Uh, and, it's, and, it's, and where does that come from? Um, I don't know. Um, I drink a lot, so uh, it's. Uh, I wake up with things tattooed on me, and um, I believe you've mentioned that you, that you drink a lot. Uh, do you believe that affects your your gameplay? I think it makes it better. Actually, I drink so much that I think we already talked about this and uh, said that you don't remember beating this game 400 times. Well, I didn't beat it 400 times. It was like, really, it was just one. It was just one time, but it was just like continuous. Uh, like, I just kept okay. rolling the game. It was like playing, I was I was like the fucking king of calm. How did, so you beat the game 400 times. Once. In one sitting. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, to, uh, to... Um, create urgency, I have a uh, quarter machine that I've actually uh, hacked into my PS4. Oh, okay. So you, so you actually have a, like a, a continue function, like uh, in an old school 80s arcade. No, it's just like every time that I start a new game, I have to put a quarter in there. And oh, so, you're, like, so you're punishing yourself. Yeah, and I can't get at that money either. I have no idea where those quarters go. Uh, but I'm going to find them one day. Well, I, I, personally, I hope they're going to a good place. Um, you know, perhaps a, a foundation for children's suffrage. <laughs> children's suffrage. Children's suffrage. That's, uh, you know. Oh, man, I don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. I so really should have... Uh, <laughs> I really should have probably, like, had my fucking bullet out You probably that. should have, you fucking idiots. Well, uh, you know, at least as a passive aggressiveness, it's kind of tamed down, but... We need to tone it down on the aggressive behavior, or uh, I'm, I'm going to be forced to murder your dog. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not good at this. I, I will cut off your dog's head it's, and it's I will... It's very hard to watch someone else play this game, uh, especially when I have no idea what's going on. Well, I mean, you don't even think that they're zombies. You're just like, they're wolf people. I, I don't... I, I'm, I'm, I was very convinced that they were, but I, they're, I'll have they're, to take they're, they're zombie thorn them. monsters, and that's 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 what they are. You, you being the expert on this matter, uh, I, I have to. I'm, I'm gonna have to hand it to you. That's that's your territory, and I, I apologize. For that. I, I really like the patch that you can have uh, that uh, makes all of them nude, and also is uh, an anatomically correct. I have I've not heard of that either. Oh yeah, it's 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 great because uh, you you're just swinging away with your stick, and you know when they take a hit, they're dick and balls. They just flop around like oh, you know. Is so, it some extra dong action? As yeah, well. lots of dong action. I mean, it's, it's, if if I were to smack you, because uh, for those that are just tuning in, I don't know if they're aware that we're new. Right. Uh, but if I were to smack you and you were to fall out of your chair, your dong would flop a little bit. I, I, I would hope it would. It's not. It's not a static member. Member. Yeah, it's, it's a members only dog. Well, it seems like this time you chose to skip all those douchebags instead of uh, taking them all on. No, but seriously, we. What the? Oh my god. Yeah, you better. You better be careful with this dude. He's, I mean, uh, at this particular point, help. I really wish. That I had uh, not wasted all of my molds and cocktails. It, everything would be a lot easier. Right, right. Uh, as you know, the uh, Molotovs are they're very helpful for the first boss. But they're they're also very tasty uh, and they are delicious. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, and you found we, the torch there, which we, is which we, is good. You can use that to illuminate uh, dark spaces. Oh, like that shitty dark mansion. Yeah, like that exactly. And let's uh, let's uh, let's get that ready. I mean, you should get that ready for when we go to there, which is soon. Yeah. You know the nice thing about, you know... Uh, oh god. That's a big fucking dog. Oh. You're fine. That's good. I was a little worried for your, your safety there. Uh, uh, yeah. I was, I'm just gonna, like, stab myself in the leg with a syringe of, uh, opiates. That was a sizable dog. It was pretty big. Uh, I used to have a Ridgeback cross. His name was Leroy. Oh. God rest his soul. Although there, there is no god, uh... Well, of course there's no god. That would be ridiculous. Yeah. See, now, now I see you're using the uh, the torch in a, a very effective way to uh, illuminate this dark space. Uh, I, mean, I I try to do what's right. Um, the uh, the beta version of this game actually uh, yeah, they gave you, you like a glow worm. You know, you remember the '80s childhood toy that you squeezed, you hugged it, and it would glow. Well, 
Uh, the creators, uh, they, they thought it was nice, but then they are like, well... Yeah, I remember the commercial it, for the glow worm. It's a, it's a fictional universe, but this is still a little bit too anachronistic. Yeah. I can't even say. Is, is that because of all the alcohol you've consumed? Uh, it's possible. Uh, and see, there you go. This is this is one of the best things you can do. Well, the bronchade's starting to wear off a little bit. I think <laughs> I'm going to take another one. I don't know if I'm supposed to have 100 milligrams of ephedrine in a day, but uh, we'll... What were we talking about? Uh, stimulants. Bruce, I'm proud of you. You finally made it uh, to, to the gate so that uh, when you... When you uh, spawn at the, the lamp that you're standing next to, instead of going through all that shit to the right, you can just go to the left and skip all of it. I'm, uh, I'm it, a bit... How are you feeling about yourself right now? It, uh, be pretty I, gotta, I gotta be honest, I'm not, I'm not feeling super good. Like, uh, you know, it's, uh, the, that speed run was a little bit of a shot. Like, that, my 15 minute record, I don't, I don't know if I'll ever be able to get there again with no thumbs. I, I think you're doing pretty well right now, uh, I have to say. You know, the analog controller, like, does feel nice and therapeutic underneath my big toes, but uh, it's just the, the controller maintenance. I've, I've got to clean this thing, like, at least, like, three times a day. You do have disgusting feet. <laughs> They're pretty nasty. Three times a day does seem a little excessive, though. Well, I mean, I just, uh... Whenever, you know, if, if I've got the controller sitting, like, on the end table, like, it's, it smells a little parmesan and, um, and it, I start craving spaghetti and meatballs, and I... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I want to diet of trying to, trying to watch my figure. I gotcha, okay. You know, it's, it's, it's not easy to maintain, like, the viewers, obviously, they can't see me, but... Uh, well, no, no, if they could, they'd, they'd see your dong. Yeah, well, uh... Well, that's that's it. And, you know, for every like, uh, I'm looking at your dong right now. For every 20 pounds of overweight you are, you're losing an inch visually on on your penis. Oh. Like, I mean, it it doesn't it doesn't get any bigger. Than weight, but is, that, is that is that like a statistical fact? You know, for every 20 pounds heavier you are, you you lose an inch of dick. I, I mean, I'd make a lot of things up, so uh, <laughs> it could be true. <laughs> it's really impossible to tell. Oh my God, you almost died. Wow. Those are well, some big rats. I'm glad you're all right. Uh, Rodents of really unusual sizes. Hopefully you can take them on. You seen The Princess Bride? I love that I, movie. I have, yes. Uh, I, I believe it was a big inspiration for this game, actually. Uh, that and... Um... Oh, no, no. Um... So this... Uh... Um... What? The, princess, the, 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 princess, the Princess Bride... <laughs> what? Oh, what the... I'm gonna try to fist this. 